No matter how much your belongings on this earth are important to you, they are worth nothing. Wednesday, November 28, 2012 at 7.40 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, during the changes, which will very soon erupt in the world, no one must ever forget that it was God who created the world and that it will be by His hand and through His power alone that it will come to an end, in the way that you know it. No government, no leader or man can control the existence of humanity or the death, which only God can decide, when souls can leave the body. No matter how much your belongings on this earth are important to you, they are worth nothing. Yet many people spend most of their lives pursuing a dream of fame, wealth and the gathering of material things, which can be taken away from them at any moment. This is why those souls, for whom I feel a deep compassion, suffer loss of wealth. I permit them to be stripped of all so that I can purify them. Many people in the world have lost much by the hands of corruption and greedy organizations. Yet, while they need to eat and have a home to live in, I permit this suffering. For it is only then that such souls will turn to me for help. This is a form of purification so that then a man can come before me in humility, a quality which is essential to possess, in order to enter my kingdom. Do not be afraid when you find yourself in this position. It will only be for a while and as a result of your own making. In time all will be well. This will be a time to reflect on your future and the place, which I hold for you in my new paradise. You must earn the right to come with me. Your time on earth is temporary. Many souls who see the world as a place of material wonders must understand that they are but a glimpse of the exuberant and glorious gifts, which await all those of you who will live in the new glorious era. Your time here is infiltrated with suffering, discontent, hatred and despair due to the presence of Satan. You cannot see him but he and his fallen angels are everywhere prodding, pushing and tempting humanity all day. Many people cannot accept the fact of his existence and this is very worrying. Yet, many will not deny the hatred they can feel when they are a victim of another person's rage. Hatred can only come from one source. It is not something, which exists on its own. It pours from the mouth of the beast. For souls who leave themselves open, because they will not accept that sin exists, they will be easy targets of the evil one. They will be drawn into the temptations he places before them, usually through sins of the flesh. These souls are easy prey and will not suffer like the souls who resist him. Souls who love me, their Jesus, and who follow my teachings with a humble heart are the ones which the evil one concentrates on the most. These are the souls, which Satan finds extremely difficult to win over. These are the same souls who, through their prayers and suffering for me, make him cringe and howl in agony. To those of you who love me, it is only through your perseverance and endurance that you can overcome the grip which he has, which weakens by the hour because of this mission. If and when you are attacked verbally, for no known reason, or when you are slandered in my name, then know that your prayers are saving souls. Please remain silent during these attacks, for when you engage with your attackers you give much power to the evil one. Keep strong, my beloved disciples, for my sake. I will hold you up and soon your suffering will come to an end. Your beloved Jesus.